What's up everyone, this is Cybernet8610, and today we're going to be opening up the brand new uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, the Dark Side Dimensions Movie Pack Gold Edition. So yeah, this is the brand new pack that has come out today, and uh, basically it is a special edition for the movie pack, but also it's kind of like a gold series too because they're all in gold rare. And then we also have some new promo cards that are in the set, so there are a couple of new cards, you know, it's not just everything reprinted from the movie pack, but of course the main cards from the movie pack, you know, everything that's in the movie pack is in this too so it, it's kind of a weird set honestly it's a tough one to recommend to people but it does have some cool things it's it's kind of comes down to one of those things like if you like gold rare better than ultra rares then this might be the set for you also those promos are good too because we're getting the last one of the cubic monsters that we needed and uh, also what's in this is that you can get uh, one of two uh, gold secret rare uh, cards from the movie so it shows like you know a dark magician and blue eyes if you guys can kind of see it i don't know if folks in on it so yeah again it's kind of a weird set but I don't know. Let's see what we get from it. I mean, it does still have some great things. I like gold series cards. I like gold rares. So, uh, I don't know if I'm in the minority on that or if ever, you know, if there are more people out there. Most of the time, though, from what I've seen on Facebook, a lot of people don't like gold rare, and I really enjoy it. Although, I guess I do prefer ultra rare over it, so I can see why people would prefer that on the, on the movie pack. But yeah, too, in case you were wondering, I got this from uh, Big and Collectibles, so be sure to check them out. Link in the description. They're an awesome store. They have, obviously, Yu-Gi-Oh! products as well as Pokemon, Cardfight Vanguard, and other card games, too. So, let's see what we have here. There. I'm trying to kind of set up. You guys can see. <laughs> I really do like the design of this box. I mean, if that's a big plus to anyone, I mean, I think that's neat how they... You know, it's just basically the movie poster, I know, but it, it looks amazing. Also, since this is like a special edition opening, this is going to be longer opening because mainly... There. I can't rip these in half like I can with normal special edition. They don't have that, like, that little window on them, you know? There we go. So we have our promos, which, man, they're shiny. They're like that gold seeker air sort of look. And the uh, first one we have is Crystal Dragon. So this is, of course, one of the new cards. And then we also have uh, Dark Magician. <laughs> so that's cool. I didn't, oh, okay, so Dark Magician can be the other one. Okay, Dark Magician Blue Eyes, I guess, are the other promos you can get. I thought maybe you got, like, the... The two, whether it be Crystal Dragon or the Cubic. All right. I wasn't 100% sure on what was going to happen on that, so. Yeah, we have Berry Magician Girl. Then we have another one, the Cubics. Uh, we also have Apple Magician Girl. Slifer. I gotta say, Slifer looks pretty nice like this. I like that. And then we have Clear Kribo. They're kind of tough to see on camera. Hopefully you guys can see the cards. I'm not going to name over every little card just because, well, we'd be here for a while. <laughs> yeah, here's another one of the Cubic Monsters, uh, Dark Magician. This is the, of course, the Ultra Gold version of it instead of the secret one we got from the pack itself. Then Cubic Wave, uh, Dimension Sphinx, and then we have Marsha Macaroon. I always want to say Marshmallow and Macaroon, but yeah. <laughs> and then, last one for this first uh, special edition. <laughs> we have Cubic Wave. Then we have Gold Gadget. That's nice. You know, Gold Gadget and Gold Rare, so <laughs> not bad. And then uh, we have Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. <laughs> that looks awesome. I like that one. That, that's cool. Then we also have, let's see, uh, uh, Meta Morph Fortress. And then also Dimension Sphinx. You know what? I think I'm just going to kind of stack them up like this. Because we're going to run out of room very quickly. That one was a little easier to open up. There. I'm trying not to give myself a paper cut. I'm all sliced up from my cat anyway, if you guys can kind of see the marks. <laughs> Let's see, here's the other card. Here's the Q8 monster you can get. This is one of the main cards that we didn't get from the movie pack, and I still don't understand why it wasn't in there, but at least we're getting it now, right? And that is uh, Dusa, the uh, uh, Meteor Cubic Vessel. So there we go. And then also Blue Eyes White Dragon. So I guess we got one of each now. So this kind of makes me wonder, one of my friends was saying this too, if maybe we will get the Obelisk the Tormentor with the other art as the movie promo or something. I don't know. Let's see, we have uh, Blue Eyes uh, Chaos Max Dragon. Yeah, I noticed that. I was just <laughs> trying to finish the other thought real quick too. But that looks cool. I do like that's gold rare. Ritual monsters look amazing. Here's the fusion for the cubics. Uh, Crimson Nova Trendy, the Dark Cubic Lord. That's another good one too. Another one, Cubic Monsters, Cubic Rebirth, and then uh, Dragon's Fighting Spirit. That was a pretty good pack.
main thing I'm happy about with this pack is that it should help bring Blue Eyes Alternative Dragon down a little bit. Cubic uh, Gold Gadget, nice, and that's always a good card to, to pick up a few of two. Uh, Vulcan, another one, Cubics, uh, Unification Cubic Lords, and uh, Final uh, Gias. So, there we go. Or Final final Gias, I should say. I must say, I said Gias. <laughs> I'm thinking of a, another anime, I think. Uh, we have uh, Gold Gadget, then into that Dark Magician, Another one of the Cubics, Marsh Macaroon, and then Clear Karibo. Yeah, there we go. I remember that card being tough for me to say last time too, because I think I always wanted to call it like Gios as well. And I don't believe that's how it's said, but then again, when I corrected myself, I could have still been wrong. Oh well. It's not a Cybernite opening without a you know, at least a couple of mispronunciations. I won't even just say one. <laughs> uh, Crystal uh, Dragon, then to that Dark Magician. Those two are kind of sticking together, aren't they? Let's see, what do we have here? This is Dig of Destiny. That's cool looking. Then after that we have uh, Blade, uh, one of the Cubic Beasts. Then a Magical Contract Door. After that, another one of the final uh, guys. I, again, I believe they say that. And then uh, Assault Wyvern. I could still be saying it wrong, but, you know. We've said the card's name wrong, I'm sure, several times. And you guys can see the name. So, that's how I look at it. <laughs> uh, Chocolate Magician Girl. That's a good card to get. Then also, uh, Gil, uh, Gil the uh, Cubic King. Another one. Uh, <laughs> I'm just going to keep getting it now. Assault Wyvern and Apple Magician Girl. Then we actually have a Sentry uh, Soldier of Stone. This is really good with the new Magnet Warriors. I'm going to try it out. There you go. Another one of the Cubics. Gold Gadget. Not seeing Silver Gadget yet. Then Apple Magician Girl. And then uh, uh, Paladinium uh, Oracle uh, Mahad. So there we go. That's a really good card. He looks pretty cool as a gold too. That's another one there. You can kind of see a little bit better like that. <laughs> I have to kind of tilt the cards like this, honestly. Gold Warriors are kind of dark on camera. I think, like, better lighting for an opening like this. I need to get going a little bit quicker on this one. This might end up being a 20-minute video. Sorry if it is. Another one of the Cubic, and then Blue Eyes. Sometimes people like the longer videos, sometimes they don't. But, again, Special Edition-like openings. Tough for them not to be too long of videos. Especially if you want to actually look through the cards you got. Let's see, uh, Cubic Medalla, then we also have uh, Pandemic Dragon, Apple Magician Girl, Slifer, again, I still love that, and Clear Kribo. No Blue Eyes alternative yet. I did say that that's what was the nice thing about the set, because the reprints, but uh, I kind of wonder if I'm going to get one now. Berry Magician Girl, then Sentry Stone, Cubic, uh, let's see, Assault Wyvern, and another one of the Cubics, uh, Crimson Nova. Also, I don't know why sometimes I put the the last card to the front because honestly they're all the same rarity so <laughs> we have uh, oh this is the Gaia one uh, Lord Gaia the Fierce Knight that's cool we haven't got him yet uh, Countergate uh, Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon uh, Metamorph Fortress and then Dimension Sphinx so at least Gaia that's a little bit different I wonder if Gandor is going to be a pain for me to get again I think I opened up two or three boxes of the original set and I got like one Gandor the whole time I don't know why I don't think it's really a sought after card or anything. I, I think it's like $2 or something. Maybe it's more by now. Who knows? But uh, yeah, <laughs> it's just hard for me to get. Another one, the Cubic and Blue Eyes. I guess it gives me a place of them. There we go. Another one of the Cubics. Then we have Chaos Max again. Blue Eyes, Chaos Max Dragon. Still love that. I, I wouldn't mind a play set of that. Uh, Clear Karibo, Blue Eyes, and then Neo Blue Eyes again. Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. So, man, that was a Blue Eyes pack. One, it should have had an alternative in that one. Seriously, that would have made sense. It was your time, Blue Eyes. Come on. Another Gold Gadget. Then we have, uh, let's see, another one of the uh, Cubic Beast. And then another Chaos Max. I believe that gives me a playset now. So that's awesome. I might actually use those like that. Then we have Slifer and Clear Karibo. I do, though. I like that. Uh, ritual monsters look really nice as gold rares, or I think so. 
especially evil ones, you know, or, I don't know, Chaos Max, he just looks like he's supposed to be evil, you know? I like that, too. He just looks awesome. Let's see another one of the Cubics. Uh, let's see, Dimension Guardian, Dimension Mir or Mirage, excuse me, uh, Dimension uh, Reflector, man, all the Dimension cards, and then another one of the uh, Cubics again. All the dimensions. I like how it says that too on the front. I just knows that. Oh, gold cards. <laughs> they weren't wrong. I wonder if this is going to mean that we're still going to get a premium gold or not this year. Who knows? Cubic and... Oh, Dark Magician this time. <laughs> they kind of switched it up. Looks pretty neat though. I, I do like these, but they look so... I don't know. It's kind of like with the Megatons. It's a cool thing, yet they almost look fake. You know what I mean? They look like those stickers from the 90s. I don't know. I'm kind of half and half on, on that rarity. Where it's kind of neat, yet it's a little much. Too, a little too sparkle. <laughs> uh, let's see, we have Cubic Seed. Then also a Kaiser Voice Raider. That's one we don't have yet in Gold Rare. Dark Horizon, a Crystal Avatar, and then another one of the uh, Crimson Nova Cubic. I guess it's just all personal preference. Just like I actually like the the Noble Knight box rarity, but a lot of people hate it. Let's see, uh, Barry Magician Girl. Then there we are, finally, man! <laughs> you reprint it and you still don't want people to get this card, huh? Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon. There we go. That's still going to be your main card you're going to want to get from this set. Although, I don't think he's too expensive. I mean, even the one from the original set, I think, is $12 at the time of this video. Something like that. Uh, we have a Dragon's Fighting Spirit, Dimension Reflector, and Dimension Sphinx. Yeah, that's awesome. You know what? I'm going to set him to the side. Just because I want us to count how many we get from this. Because I'm about halfway through the box, or a little bit more, I guess, than halfway now. And we've gotten one. So I want to see. Can we get a place up? We have Gaia again. Then also we have uh, a Crimson Nova Trinity. Then uh, a Metal Hold a Moving Blockade. Then after that we have Deep Eyes White Dragon. I didn't got that one yet. That's awesome looking. I like that, actually, with like the stars in the background. That looks pretty cool. And then Crystal Avatar. There we are. Let's see. Alright, uh, Crystal Dragon and then Dark Magician again. Man, those are shiny. <laughs> I'll get over that. I look at them, you know, without through the camera, and then I look at them through the camera, it's like, whoa! <laughs> It's like I should have a seizure warning, I feel like, in front of the video. I want to show you guys those cards. <laughs> another one of the Cubic Beasts. Another Chaos Max Dragon. Now, that's awesome. Maybe I'll get two play sets. I, I wouldn't mind that. Another one of the Cubics, uh, Induce Explosion, and Slifer. You know what? I don't think we've gotten Dark Magician Girl yet. Just think about that. That and I think Gandora are still the two I'm missing. I haven't seen yet. Oh, another alternative. There we go. Finally, man. Now we're starting to see the alternative dragons. That gives us another one. So we might be able to get that play set. Let's see. Also, a Sphinx again, a Cubic Rebirth, and then there's Gandora. Okay. There we go. You know what? I want to see how many Gandoras I'm getting, too. <laughs> Let's just keep a count on that. Because, like I said, I opened up three boxes, and it's not an expensive card by any means. But uh, the new promo that came out for it in Japan looks awesome. So I might want to build something with Gandora anyway, because he looks fun. Uh, Dimension Guardian, then Celtic Guardian. Yeah, we haven't gotten him yet, or Celtic Guard, I should say, of uh, Noble Arms. Then Kaiser Force Raider, Lemon Magician Girl, and then another one of the Cubics. Forgot about uh, Celtic Guard. We haven't gotten him yet, or I don't think so. Still think we're missing Dark Magician Girl. I think that's the, the last card that I haven't seen, or... Or I haven't noticed, at least. Let's see, uh, Crystal Dragon and Blue Eyes. So, that kind of goes together. You might start hearing plastic hitting the floor. I kind of stacked up all the, the boxes next to me. <laughs> Definitely going to have to recycle after all this. We have Cubic Wave, Cubic uh, Medalla. Then another one of the final cards, and oh, there we go, okay, well, there's another one stuck on it. Uh, let's see, Assault Wyvern and Apple Magician Girl.
and Celtic Guard. I could already tell that he was there. There you guys go. Then, of course, Cubic, then a Soldier of Stone, the Dimension Reflection, and then we also have uh, Oracle Mahad. I think we've only gotten... Have we gotten two of Mahad or three? I might have gotten three. He's one I wouldn't mind having a play set of either. And then there's another Chaos Max. That is awesome looking. That really is. <laughs> That's one of my favorite Ritual Monsters of last year. Probably one of my favorite cards of last year, to be honest. Uh, Crimson Nova Trinity. Then we have another Mahad, so now I think we have a place set at least. Uh, Lemon Magician Girl and Dimension Sphinx. I never really made a list for 2016, like favorite cards from it. I might do that still. I know it's you know you know we're in January, you know, pretty good ways in January now, but I don't know. Tell me if you guys would like to see something like that. I thought about doing something like that, but I don't know if you guys would like it or not. Uh, <laughs> there goes one of the boxes. Uh, we have a Crystal Dragon and the Dark Magician. Let's see what else we have here. Kaiser Vorse Raider. There we go. Then we also have uh, Dimension Guardian, Dig of Destiny, Induced Explosion, and then Spiritual Swords Revealing Light. I don't think we got that yet, have we? I don't think so. Huh. <laughs> so that's another one I believe that, uh, that we're kind of adding to the collection. See another one of Gaia, so that's awesome. Then after that, a Celtic Guard. Uh, we have Dark Horizon, another one of Cubics, and then Silver Gadget. There we go. Finally, I don't think I've gotten a Silver Gadget before that, so I'd kind of like to have a place set of Silver Gadgets. It's gold. Gold Gadget was easy to get, ironically enough. <laughs> and last one for this one. Let's see, another alternative dragon. There we go. We got our play set. So that's all. Also, too, he's behind Mahad. <laughs> so that's cool. He's kind of, you know, of course, he's like the new blue eyes, and there's like your sort of new uh, dark magician, kind of. So that's cool. So there we go. We got a play set. I'm happy now. That is, that's awesome. And then Cumic Karma, another one of the final cards, just because I don't want to look stupid anymore. I'm trying to say its name. <laughs> and... Last box, and it's not opening easily. What can we get from this? Can we get a Dark Magician Girl? Seriously. I wonder what the deal is with that. Let's see, we have another one, the Cubic, and then, of course, Dark Magician. So, I think I've gotten a pretty good number of that. We'll check promos here in a second, like, what our odds have been on that. And let's see. Three packs left, so... First off, we have Kiwi Magician Girl. I think we got one of hers before. Still looks cool. Uh, Dark Magician. Then we also have uh, Crimson Nova Trinity, uh, Megamore Fortress, and then Blue Eyes. So, Blue Eyes and Dark Magician together. Those artworks are pretty cool, too. Although, those I do kind of prefer as the Ultras. I will say that. Again, it's all, it's all personal taste, really. Let's see, although it doesn't look bad as a gold, I do like that. Another Dark Magician, a Celtic Guard, a Lemon Magician Girl, another Blue Eyes, so they're back to back again, and Metamorph Fortress. And then, last pack, what are we going to end with? Can we end with a gold rare? <laughs> Let's see. I'm just kidding. We, we know we're going to. That'd be funny though, if it was like all common somehow. <laughs> I'd be okay with that, just because it'd be funny. Uh, let's see, we have Kaiser Force Raider, then a Magician's Defense, Dig of Destiny, Induce Explosion, and Slifer. You know what? Ending with a God card is never a bad thing. So, yeah, there we go. That's the opening. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Only one of Gandora, so at least we got one this time. And we didn't get any of Dark Mission Girl, and I don't think we got, um, uh, what is it, Magic Veil? It's the, the spell card that makes it so you can uh, special summon a spellcaster monster. I don't think we got any of that one either. So those are two I can think of that I didn't get from this. So that's kind of funny. It, it shows how random this can be, and uh, the main set was always like that too. Also, we did get our three alternative dragons. I'm happy with that. I mean, that's probably like the still the main card everyone wants from this set. So getting a play set, that's good. I mean, I still have my original play set from back then. And then, of course, on promos. How did we do? Let me uh, sort through these real quick, and we'll count up and see what we did. All right, I sorted through the promos, and let's see. Here's our crystal dragons. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. So we have five of crystal dragon. Then after that, of course, the cubic monster. So we got one, two, three, four, five. So five of him. 
That's pretty even then. And then Dark Magician. One, two, three, four, five, six, actually. <laughs> that Man, that's shiny. Like I said, seizure warning. <laughs> and then four for blue eyes. So, you know what? I, I'm happy with this box. Like I said, this is a tough box to actually recommend to people just because of what it is. You know, if you missed out on the actual, the, the original pack, then go for this, honestly, too. And, of course, a lot of people that wanted to build cubics, well, there you go. You got one of your final cards, although you can always just, you know, pick one of those up and stuff, too. They're not going to be expensive anyway, as you guys can see, because they're easy to get us the promos. So, do I recommend this? Uh, it's it's up to personal preference, really. I mean, a lot of people are down this pack because of what it is, and I agree, it is a weird pack and kind of a really quick reprint on the set, too. So, for me, I do like a lot of the new artworks for some of these, and then some, I honestly prefer the Ultra Rare. Again, it's personal preference to what you like. So, if you missed out on the movie pack and some of the cards, you know, that you want, you know, are really expensive or something, I can still recommend this, but honestly, you're probably better off waiting on uh, Raging Tempest, which is only a few weeks away. And also next week we have Pendulum Domination. So, and that's a new structure deck. So definitely look for that. And you guys definitely need to at least pick up three of that because gotta get those different dimension demons. But yeah, as always, thank you guys for watching. Uh, of course, tell me in the comments what you guys think about this set and what are the openings you guys want to see in the future, as well as hit that like button. Helps out a ton. And then, uh, of course, subscribe for more uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! opening videos because, of course, anything new that comes out for Yu-Gi-Oh! I do openings on. Also do news videos stuff too. Had a lot of discussions and stuff lately. So be sure to subscribe on that. We should have a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh! news very soon because it's close to the 15th. It's always the middle of the month is when we have a ton of Yu-Gi-Oh! news and uh, maybe some kind of ban list or something too. And like I said, of course, next Friday will be Pen on Domination, which is the new structure deck. I'll do opening on that as soon as it is released on Friday. And then uh, we'll probably have some kind of deck profile sometime after that, maybe that weekend or Monday or something like that. So hope you guys are looking forward to it. As always, thank you guys for watching. You guys are awesome. And of course, I will catch you guys later. See ya.